first of all, congratulations on this film. I went through such emotional roller coaster. This yeah. was for me, uh, and you did a great job. But at the core of this movie, it's about a mother and her, the love for her son and the faith that she has. Can you talk to me about the preparation that went into that? You know, it's interesting. Uh, I have been asked that question, and I'm sort of like trying to to answer it myself because for me, it was really just getting out of the way and honoring the story and sure. honoring what was already there on the page and having that ego, the pride to just scoot and, you know, to stay quiet so I could just be present, right. just be authentic and just feel whatever I was feeling in that moment. And, um, you know, after meeting the family and, and seeing what they went through and how they, they've come together and they've grown and they've changed, um, you know, we do that as a daily, I mean, sometimes scene by scene as, as actors go. So it's hard to say like anything in particular aside from just getting out of my own way. The One of the relationships I like the most is Joyce's relationship with uh, Pastor Jason. So fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, can you talk to me in your description about that relationship is like? Yeah, you know, Joy, here's the thing. Pastor Jason is this cool, hip California pastor who comes in to a 90 year old church and tries to just flip it on its on its head but what's really wonderful is that he's doing it for the kids he's doing it so younger people are going to come to church and stay in church um, and stay close to god and joyce is like hold on whoa, whoa, whoa. you don't come in here and try to fix something that's not broken sure and um you know as we do as, as we get older we're set in our ways what's comfortable um and so that like dynamic of that push and that pull and that like that tension they, they all want they both want the same thing right it's just interesting is, is we can see both sides of the story is that we want the same thing, but we can go about it in different ways. And so it's really fun and it's really wonderful to see at the end of it how much they each need each other. And how much that relationship just grows. Yeah. So, so great. Yeah. Um, this 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 uh, trailer had like 2.5 million views in like two days or something. It was crazy. I know. Um, and it's crazy, especially for being such a religious based movie. Because yeah. why do you think it's the right time uh, for a film like this? Well, I think it's timely because we all want something to believe in. Uh, we all have felt like nobody's believed in us, you know, as Joyce so completely believes in John and his healing. Um, you know, we all want the same thing, right. which is to be loved. So we buy this to look like this. So we're validated. So we're loved. And so much of John's plight is that he doesn't know what his purpose is. And he just wants to be loved. He wants to feel accepted. And that's what we all want. You know, um, so I think people are going to really relate to that in so many ways. Absolutely. And cinematically, we live in a world of superheroes. Mm -hmm. uh, this has real life heroes in it. What can people yeah. take away from these, a lot of these real life heroes? You know, the selflessness and the sacrifice of these first responders. We, we, we were able to um, have um, this um, really amazing um, event where... In, this, in the incident where in, in the actual lake that it took place, that John drowned, um, it was so powerful to the humility that they had. Sure. It was like, this is just what I do. Like, I, I just help people if they're in trouble. And it's uh, it's overwhelming for me because so much of what people do, especially in the medical field or, right. you know, um, is so selfless. And uh, I think we can all, you know, take a page out of out of their book, but it's... Oh. Powerful.